While traveling north to rescue Sansa Stark, Brienne tells Podrick Payne about her past with Renly. She reveals that as a young girl, her father held a ball and invited dozens of young lords in order to find a good match for her. Brienne was captivated by all the attention she was getting, but her happiness turned to embarrassment when Brienne realized they were all just toying with her. Before she could run away, Renly took Brienne into his arms and told her that those nasty little shits aren't worth crying over, and danced with her. As Podrick starts to bring up Renly's homosexuality, Brienne somewhat irritably acknowledges that she knew Renly was only interested in men and that he was only being kind to her, but that still didn't stop her from loving him. She says that there is nothing more hateful than failing to protect the ones you love, and intends to avenge Renly by killing Stannis whom she correctly believes played a role in Renly's murder after witnessing his death by a shadow resembling Stannis. Meanwhile, back in King's Landing, Renly's lover Loris is arrested by the Faith Militant on charges of buggery after being informed upon by Cersei. During his holy inquest by the Faith, the High Sparrow grills him about his relationship with Renly. Loris of course denies that he was ever Renly's lover, that they were merely friends and he was wrong to support his claim to the Iron Throne adding that he fought for Joffrey at the Battle of the Blackwater. The High Sparrow points out that Loras was wearing Renly's armor at that battle, making his testimony sound less believable but Loras stands his ground, saying he never lay with Renly or any other men. His sister Marjorie, who of course was also Renly's widow for a time, defends her brother when she is called upon to testify but this leads to her own arrest for perjury when the Faith bring forth the prostitute Oliver, who truthfully tells them that about his own relationship with Loras. Renly is finally avenged by Brienne following the Battle of Winterfell where Stannis's army is smashed by the forces of Roose Bolton. Brienne finds a wounded Stannis, sentences him to die and personally kills him after he acknowledges his role in Renly's murder.